Hello everyone, welcome back to our new video lesson. And for this video, we will discuss about fundamental principles of counting. So when we see fundamental principles of counting, it states that we can find the total number of ways that two or more separate tasks can happen by multiplying the number of ways each task can happen separately. All right, so yung idea ng fundamental principles of counting, um, it is a rule used to count the total number of possible outcomes in a situation. Okay, so if one thing can occur in M ways and a second thing can occur in N ways, and a third thing can occur in P ways and so on, then the sequence of things can occur in M times N times P times so on and so forth ways. So for example, we have a situation here. A coffee shop serves two desserts, a cake and a pie. They also serve three beverages, which, is, or which are coffee, tea, and juice. Suppose you can choose one dessert and one beverage. How many possible outcomes are there? Okay, so for this situation, we will use first the three diagram. Okay. When we say three diagram, we will um it will help us to vis to visualize all the possible outcomes and probabilities of a situation. Okay. So ipapakita ng three diagram sa atin lahat ng possible combination ng desserts and beverages. So by that, mabibilang natin or malalaman natin kung ilan ba yung possible outcomes na makukuha natin. Alright, so let's try. So we have a cake and a pie. Let's say ito yung cake, which is uh, P as C for pie is P. Okay, so let's use a three diagram. So since meron tat tayong tatlong beverages, we will have a three branches. Kaya tinawag na three kasi meron siyang branches. So it will help us to visualize yung mga combination ng desserts and beverages. So we have coffee and tea and juice. Okay? And also we have for pie, i-combine din natin yung coffee, tea, and juice. So, bibilangin lang natin lahat ng combinations na nakuha natin. So, we have coffee and cake, cake and tea, cake and juice. And for pie, we have pie and coffee, pie and tea, and also pie and juice. So, bibilangin lang natin kung ilan ba yung nagawa nating combination of desserts and beverages. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, we have 6 possible outcomes. Okay? So, we have 6 possible outcomes or six possible combination using two desserts and three beverages. All right, so if you will ask, okay, if you will, if, if you will wonder kung saan gagamitin yung uh, formula na M times N times P times so on and so forth. So magagamit din natin to to identify or to know if how many possible outcomes are there. So using the given, which is two desserts and three beverages, gagamitin lang natin siya sa formula. So let's say the M is equal to two desserts. And yung N natin is equal to three beverages. All right? So we will just use the formula M times N. So that is equal to... For M, we have 2 times N, we have 3. And that is equal to 6. So we have 6 possible outcomes. Next example, Ben is a disc jockey. He chooses different types of records for each R 
of history or program. So the possible choices are listed, which is for the first R, meron tayong rock and folk. Second R, we have instrumental and jazz. Third R, opera and classical. So how many possible outcomes are there? Okay, so how many possible outcomes ang magagawa ni DJ Ben? Okay, this jockey is a DJ. Okay, yan yung meaning ng DJ natin. So we have, for the first R, ayan, let's combine the rock and folk. So we have here, for rock, meron tayong instrumental, opera, and classical. We also have jazz, opera, classical. Combine din natin yung first R sa second R, instrumental, opera, classical, jazz, opera, and classical. So we will just count all the possible or the all the combination. So we have RIO, which is rock, instrumental, and opera, rock, instrumental, and classical, rock, jazz, opera, rock, jazz, classical. For folk, folk, instrumental, opera, folk, instrumental, classical, folk, jazz, opera, and folk, jazz, classical. So let's count all the possible combination or outcome. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we have eight possible outcomes. Now let's use the formula. Okay, so let's use the formula M times N times P times so on and so forth. All right? So, kunin natin yung uh, given for first R. First R is equal to 2. Ayan, meron tayong dalawang records which are rock and folk. For N, we have 2 as well, instrumental in jazz. For O, we have or P. Ayan, we have P, we have 2. Opera and classical. So, we will just multiply 2 times 2 times 2. And that is equal to 8. So we have 8 possible outcomes. Alright? Example number 3. An outfit can be chosen from 5 shirts, 4 pants, and 3 socks, and 2 shoes. How many possible combinations are there? So using 5 shirts, 4 pants, 3 socks, and 2 shoes... Hahanapin natin or bibilangin natin or aalamin natin kung ilang combination ba yung pwede nating masuot using these clothes. Okay? So, we will just use the formula since sobrang dami ng given natin, matatagalan tayo sa paggawa ng three diagram. So, we will just use the formula M times N times O times P since meron tayong four given. So for letter M, we have five shirts and we have four pants. O, we have three socks. P, we have two shoes. So you will just multiply five times four times three times two. Five times four is equal to 20. 20 times three is equal to 60. 60 times two is equal to 120. So we have 120 possible combinations. Okay? We have 120 possible combinations of outfit that we can use using these five shirts, four pants, three socks, and two shoes. Okay? Another example. In how many ways can a three-item true or false question be answered? Okay, so itong three item true or false, ilang beses or ilang ways pa natin siya masasagutan. 
Okay. So we have to use the three diagram. So first item, we have true or false. Second item, true or false. True or false. For third item, true or false. True or false. Ayan. TF. TF and TF. Okay. So let's count. All the possible combination. We have T, T, T. We have T, T, F. T, F, T. T, F, F. We also have F, T, T. F, T, F. F, F, T. And F, F, F. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight possible outcomes or possible ways. So we have eight ways. Let's use the formula. So for three item, for false, for first item, meron tayong um, T and F. So we have two choices. And let's say for letter M, that is two choices. Letter N, two choices as well. And P, we have two choices. So you will just multiply M times N times P. So we have two times two times two. And that is equal to A. All right. So that is the idea of fundamental principles of counting. It will help us to know all the possible outcomes and probabilities of a situation given. Okay? So that is it for our video lesson. I hope you um, learned um, for our discussion this video, in this video. And Please expect for more uh, video lesson that we will uh, discuss and will be uploaded for the next coming days. And that is all for our video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, always remember that God is good all the time. Keep always safe and God bless us all. Bye-bye. Subscribe.